Hey guys, my greenhouse is absolutely stuffed with tomatoes. So today we're going to make a delicious tomato dessert amuse. It might sound strange to some, but tomatoes work so well in a dessert. We're going to make marinated cherry tomatoes with a tomato granite and a beautiful basil oil. So, let's begin. First, the marinated cherry tomatoes. Mix 100 grams of sushi vinegar with 100 grams of white wine vinegar, 150 grams of water, 80 grams of sugar, three sprigs of thyme, half a cinnamon stick, 10 cardamom seeds, 20 black pepper grains, one star anise, the peel from one lemon and the peel from one lime. Then cut both in half as well and add the juice to the pan. After, cut one clove of garlic fine and add it to the pan. Now finally, also add half an empty vanilla pot and then bring this to a boil on a high heat. Then directly turn off the heat, add five sprigs of basil and let this cool down completely out of the fridge. Meanwhile, we need to remove the skin from the cherry tomatoes. First, separate them from the stem and bring a pot of water to a boil. Now make a little cross at the bottom of the tomatoes. This will shorten the time that you need to blanch them and keep them nice and firm. Then blanch them for around 15 seconds on the high heat to really keep the water boiling. Once that's done, directly cool them down in ice water and leave them in the water for 5 minutes. You want to be sure that they are totally cooled down to prevent them from turning soft. After that, gently peel away the skin. Now pass the cooled down marinade through a fine sieve on the tomatoes and mix it well to make sure the tomatoes are totally covered. Then let this marinate in your fridge for at least 2 hours. Now for the tomato and star anise granite. Cut 800 grams of overripe tomatoes in big pieces. Then cut one shallot in half and clean it. Transfer the tomatoes and shallot into a blender and also add 100 grams of ginger syrup, 50 grams of sushi vinegar, 5 grams of salt, 3 pieces of star anise and 5 black pepper grains. Blend this till smooth. Once smooth, pour the base on a fine sauce sieve and press it through using a ladle so you don't waste a single drop. Then clean the sieve and pass it through once more, only this time don't use a ladle but thrill the sieve so all the solids stay in the sieve. By doing it this way you save a lot of time and still don't waste a single drop. Now pour it into a big dish and then let it freeze till completely frozen. Then once frozen use a fork to create a nice and fresh granite. Keep it in your freezer for later. Now for the basil oil. Mix 30 grams of basil leaves with 150 grams of neutral oil. I use sunflower oil. Then blend it till the temperature of the oil is 65 degrees Celsius. It will heat up from the friction. Now fill the side of the blender to check the temperature or use a thermometer. Then pour it on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper to clarify it. I was out of kitchen paper, but you can use a coffee filter as well. It just takes a bit more time. Let this drain in your fridge to prevent it from changing color. Now you can keep it in your fridge for 7 days or in your freezer for many months. Then we can start to finish the dish. First, I freeze the bowl so the granite doesn't melt so fast. Now place 5 of the marinated tomatoes in the middle and cover it completely with the granite. Drizzle some basil oil on top and then decorate it with lemon jam leaves and lemon jam flower petals. Okay guys, that's it for today. Again, very happy with the result. The dish looks amazing, it's very sophisticated and just like last video, only 3 components. So, Prep-wise, very easy to make. The tomatoes you can keep on the marinade for a couple of days. The granite you can keep in the freezer for well, many weeks. Uh, just keep it well covered, otherwise it dehydrates. And uh, the oil you can also pre-make, just freeze it. I always freeze mine in little ice cube trays. Super easy to keep in the freezer for many dinners, uh, many months as well. And it's also very easy because you keep them in ice trays, ice cube trays, uh, that you only take out a cube or two for a dinner and then you can leave the rest in the freezer. So what I always do, I just put them on a funnel um, into a piping bottle and then it slowly defrosts. Um, very easy to do. You can also just put it in a little bowl or whatever you like. But yeah, that's just uh, the way I do it. In the restaurant I used to uh, I used to freeze them in small vacuum bags by, I think it was 230 grams and that's precisely a small uh, piping bottle. So then you just defrost it, fits in the back perfect or in, in the bottle perfectly and that's, uh, that's super smart. Um, but let's just dig in because color wise it's very beautiful and the granite, even though the bowl is frozen, it's still melting very fast. 
Let's just dig in. Yeah guys, that's amazing. It's super fresh. Texture-wise, it's really nice as well because you bite into the tomato and it just pops open. The granite brings so much balance and this is a dessert amuse for me. You could also serve it as a starter because it's such a lovely beginning of the dinner because it's so fresh but still so, so flavorful. And um, yeah, I just love it. It's very simple but so, so good. I love these fresh dishes and they really can bring a dinner to the next level. Because what I hate is when I'm in a restaurant, when I eat seven courses and every course gets heavier and heavier and heavier. By the end of the dinner, you're gonna be so full, you're gonna be so stuffed that you don't even want that dessert anymore because it's just too much. And a dish like, th like this in the middle brings so much balance and gets you ready for the dessert. So, very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and please subscribe to my channel because you not only support my channel and my videos, but you also don't miss out on any great recipes. And as always, bon appetit.